What's up guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's a hot day in Florida, but that's not gonna stop us. Guess what, we're gonna go check out one of our customers' tank. His name is Tim. He's got a custom 360 gallon tank we set up two years ago. First year was horrendous for him. He got Aptasias and that thing took over the entire tank. Where do you guys see the pictures? The worst Aptasia I have ever seen. However, I heard the tank is looking much better, so invite us to come over and check it out. And don't forget, throughout this video, we're gonna have an Echo of Casper. However, things have changed a little bit. First one, to post a comment. The first three people that post a comment telling us where they found Casper on this video, they're gonna get a t-shirt delivered right to their house. We don't care where you live, we're gonna get that t-shirt right to your door. So again, go find Casper. So we're super excited, let's go check it out, guys. Vic. Tommy, what's did, going on? Did you tell them about the giveaway yet? Oh my gosh, I could I could have swear we told them in the last video, but go ahead, tell them. We, Here we go, guys. I thought we'd... We did already. You seem to be excited, tell them. All right, look, tomorrow we are gonna be at Reef of Palooza, New York, Saturday the 24th, Sunday the 25th. We're doing a giveaway at the booth, both days at 2.30, 2.30. How do they participate? Both days. So how you participate is you have to subscribe to our YouTube channel, you have to like and comment on this video. And that's it. That's, that's all it. they have to do. And they have to be present or not? Yes, you have to be present to win. You have to be at Reef of Palooza. But why wouldn't you want to be there anyways? All right, can I go check out this thing now? Yeah, go. All right, go, thank go, you. Go. Leave me Sorry, alone now. my bad. All right, guys, we just made it inside. We're here with Tim. How are you, Tim? I'm good. How are you? Tim is the owner of this beautiful 360 gallon tank. Uh, he actually is inside of his business. It's a nail salon, it's a beautiful place. Some of the aquaporas are looking a little small because they're kind of new, but other than that, a lot of them are big. He's got mushrooms everywhere. So Tim, I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions regarding your tank today. Yeah. How long has this been running? Uh, this tank, they cut the make from work white coral about yeah. two years. Two years? Yeah. Okay, and you know the dimensions of the tank? Seven feet long. Seven feet long? Three feet wide. Okay. 27. Okay, the, got yeah, you. Yeah. Man, it's beautiful. So you're right, because if this, they used to make a marine land tank, it used to be six feet long, and it was a 300, so I can yeah. see how the extra feet gives you the yeah. 50, 60 gallons. Man, it looks gorgeous. And for lighting, what are you using, generation? That, uh, G5 roll. G5? G5 roll, yeah. Got you. And the schedule, what time the lights come on and what time the lights go off? 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. 12 hours a day? Yeah, 12 hours. And how intense do they get? Do they reach 100% all the way up or no? Intensity? No, just about uh, 60%. 60%? Yeah. Okay. The corals are growing. Obviously, there's something you're doing right. I see all the growth tips here on the Acropora, the Melipora. I mean, the corals are definitely growing, especially those mushrooms over there. What about for flow? I see you have two MP60s and two MP40s from Ecotech. And I have on the bottom. That's all? Two, yeah, right there and right here. Yeah. And you do, you use that to sweep through the... The waist, so, yeah. To the waist. Yeah. So I see you running bird bottom. Did you gain inspiration when you came to see our tank? Is that what you did or you... Yeah, yeah. When I go for your work white coral shop there, I see if you don't have a set, it looks amazing. Yeah. Okay. 150, 100 and very clean, very clear and I like it. Yeah, okay. I try, yeah. So that's what you want. You can grow corals on the floor and stuff like that. Yeah. So I was asking you earlier, you used to be in the hobby 15 years ago. Yeah, 15 years, but before I never had time to take care of the fish tank, you know, I work a lot. And it was and a salt water tank? Yeah, the salt water tank. Okay. And the coral is dying and algae, uh, everything very bad. And I, I, I didn't because so I- So you I, weren't uh, a successful hobbyist then? Yeah, and Not right back now then. I don't work anymore. You know, I have so many nail techniques and they do for me. And so this is your job now, yeah, to take care yeah, of the tank? Job, yeah. That's cool. If we can see pictures on your phone that we're gonna show the camera, you yeah. used to have Aptasias really, really bad. Like it was, there was literally guys, thousands and thousands and thousands of Aptasias. You have a picture I can see yeah. of the Aptasias? We're gonna show you guys, this is just crazy. All right, so check this out, guys. This is his old rocks. Okay, every single rock in the tank was completely, completely taken over. And I have Look at that, guys, we can make this up. So this was what, 10 months ago? Yeah, 10 months ago. All right, so what he did, he ended up putting Bergy and Nudibranchs. How many did you put in there on the beginning? About 300. He put about 300 Bergen nudibranchs. There's not a single Aptasia in here, guys. They literally went to town and they ate everything, right? Yeah, when everything clear and clean, and I take it out oh, about a thousand. 
A thousand burgers yeah, yeah, in there. Over. He was bringing them to us for trade, but we <laughs> couldn't keep feeding them because there wasn't enough Aptasia for us to give them. So if you ever have an, a problem with Aptasia, you can go a couple different routes. You can remove them manually, peppermint shrimps, copper bran butterfly, and burger nudie branks. He's the living proof that they work, man. He put 300 of them and the rest is history. 300 turned into a thousand. There wasn't a single Aptasia left in here, man. The mushrooms, how long they've been there? The mushroom is a little while. Two I, years? I, I have that one about, yeah, two years. Because uh, when the uh, updates are, uh, they grow, they not, they not hurt for the mushroom. No? They, yeah, no. The mushrooms will win. They want to yeah, grow yeah, around yeah. the mushroom. Yeah. That's an interesting thing to know. So you're saying that the updates weren't growing around the mushrooms. Incredible. I told him he needs to add some jaw-breaking mushrooms, maybe a bounce mushroom in there, something when it grows. They grow everywhere. can give it some trade yeah, value, you know? Yeah. So I see you do have a copper band butterfly. So if there was any aptitions left after the nudie branks left, guess what? He's taking care of them. He's yeah, the best to eat I have a lot and you know, they cannot, <laughs> they cannot take care of all. No, because yeah. it's too much. Now, too much, yeah. since there's no one, he makes sure they don't pop again. Yeah, yeah. So another question regarding your fish. You have a lot of beautiful, healthy fish, but you don't see this as so whole tank inside a reef all the time. Is he aggressive towards the other fish? Does he try to fight with the other fish? Oh, no, right now not, but I, if I, I put in something new and they fight them. But yeah, 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 you couldn't put they, something they're new. They're very friendly with the, everyone. Yeah. But anyhow, whatever you're doing, you're doing fantastic. Because I see all of your tanks, how healthy they are. I mean, that's got to be the healthiest Soho tank I've ever seen. You got a yellow eye coal right there. You got a yellow tank. I see you got a regal tank, blonde nasal. You have uh, black scopas over there. Let me try one more and they, they Yeah, go, they sure. We can fit them yeah. another one. Why not? Very tight. Yeah. Go in there, push hard. Yeah. And now, when you put it there, yeah. they're going to have a hard time taking it out. See, when you make it really tight like that, yeah. they're so big, you see how he's trying to get it out? Oh, yeah. Before they will get it out, right? Now, yeah, before some time. Watch, yeah. they're not gonna get it out. I'm that confident they're not gonna get it out. And now they're gonna eat aggressive for the first three to four minutes, right? Yeah. Then after that, they go away and now they come back every five yeah. minutes, they take a couple bites. Yeah. So they stay busy eating throughout the day. Yeah. It just helps with their behavior. Okay. They just become more friendly, more relaxed, they don't fight. Oh, you have two yellow tanks I see in there. And that I in a gem tank. Yeah. Uh, so let's finish with the fish. So you have a pair of percula clowns, you have a couple green crummies, you have a pajama cardinal here. Any other fish that I'm missing? No? No, not nothing. You have any critters in here? Any shrimp? Any no. anything different? Starfish? No. Just not uh, into that? You don't like them? No, nothing, yeah. No? You don't no. like them? No. Oh, wow. Just for snail, they clean the algae on the bottom. That's it. Yeah. Okay, cool. So mainly you're doing SPS. I see some more smaller frags that you're trying to grow, but I see you have some other bigger colonies. Uh, I see you have some torches, couple goniopuras, couple chalice, an acorn or so. I see a couple you feel you're not a lot, and a couple mushrooms, but mainly SPS. So for you to be brand new to this, why did you decide to go with SPS? Most people it takes them a few years to go all the way into into acroporas. It's not that easy. Yeah, for me, I don't know why. It's it hard. Hard to work, I yeah. want to try. Yeah, everything. Okay. Yeah, but so, I, I like the color too. I, yeah, the okay. color, you do right, and the color is amazing. Okay, so, so you were basically, you like the challenge of something difficult, because yeah. you know if it works, it's going to be rewarding. Yeah. All right, cool. So now I'm going to ask you a couple things about your filtration, about your regular maintenance. Yeah. So is this a Bubble King, a Royal Exclusive Protein Skimmer? Yeah, at 300 Deluxe. 300 Deluxe. Yeah. So funny enough, this was my first protein skimmer that I got back in 2008 yeah. from uh, Bubble King when they were fairly new to the market. I had an external 300, a fantastic protein skimmer. They're still one of the best if you ask me, guys. Um, so I see you have a carbon reactor right here. Yes. Okay, so you have a UV sterilizer as yes. well? Yes. And where is it? On behind the tank. Yeah, okay, so yeah, it's hard to see. Yeah, it so it's got a, how many watts is it? Uh, 50 watts. So it's got a 50 watt UV sterilizer. Yeah. This is a half a horsepower or a full horsepower? Uh, one horsepower. So he's got one horsepower chiller. He's keeping the temperature at 77 yeah. on the whole tank. And I see you have a geo calcium reactor back there as well. They, can, they say the coral system. So he's, he's, he's feeding the coral system from, um, 
from Bulk Reef Supply. That's what he's got on these four bottles right here. So this, those are nitrates, phosphates. This food right here, you have the uh, cogwasser, calcium reactor, and then water changes you do. Yeah. Looks good. Again, look how meticulous everything is. And here, this is for your controller over there, correct? Yeah, controller. All right, Tim, thank you. Oh, thank you. Tank thank looks beautiful. Yeah. We'll be back in about a year once things are a little more grown. Yeah. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to come in the store and just ask me some questions, man. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, just let me know because I'm very new. I have a 10, 15 year, but like very, very new. That looks like a beginner. You're doing a good job, man. Like yeah. I said, let's make an adjustment with those few things that we talked about, and I think your tank's going to look that much better. Okay, thank you. Thanks well. again, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right, guys, that is a wrap for today. We'll check out this beautiful 360 gallon tank. Let me tell you something, Tim has been doing this for less than two years, but he literally started 10 months ago. I think he's killing it. He's got a little coloration to do in some of the corals. Corals are growing fantastic. Mr. Meticulous as well. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give us a like, post some comments below. We'd love to engage with you. We'll see you guys on the next episode. See you guys soon.